the factory rat series we're going to apply counters to an application with the count up count down and reset instruction but first a quick return to an earlier graphic that we are using in our application and that is a conveyor and we had two photo eyes the very first photo eye was the one in the middle that's now marked 2 PE and then we added the one at the beginning of the conveyor at the end of the gravity which is now marked 1 PE in the previous demonstration the one in the middle was 1 PE and then when we added a second one back at the beginning of the conveyor we named that 2 PE we're going to switch that to make it easier to follow looking at our logic as we left it the only change that we made was this was input 0, input 0, and input 1. We simply changed the names, so this is now photo I2, the photo I in the middle of the conveyor. True if off, true if on. Right now the conveyor is running because photo I2, the one in the middle of the conveyor, is not blocked. But for a carton to reach there, first it has to hit photo I1. So we turn on photo Y1, but of course nothing happens because that carton that landed on the leading edge of the conveyor belt is now being pulled onto the conveyor belt. The carton is in front of photo Y1, nothing happens, but before it reaches photo Y2, photo Y1 will go back off and then it reaches photo Y2 and the conveyor stops and there the carton sits. First we're going to add an additional sensor to our conveyor, photo Y3, and when a carton comes it's going to stop at photo I2 just like it did before and when a carton arrives at photo I1 then the conveyor is going to run until photo I2 is blocked again and not photo I1. Now looking at this illustration how many cartons are on the conveyor? How many cartons does the PLC know is on the conveyor? Considering it can only see that the optical path of 2PE is blocked and not 1 and not 3. That's where we're going to use the counter. I'm going to go offline because it's quicker to add logic offline than online. It's going to ask me, add a rung, add a count up instruction. I have to have something to count. Photo I1 because that's where the carton first arrives. I can copy this, come down here and paste. It's one way to do it. Or I could have put it in the other way. Whenever photo I1 gets blocked, then the counter counts. We'll let this be C5 colon 0. The preset really doesn't matter, but we'll give it a preset of a thousand. Now we want another photo I or another counter because I want to illustrate a point. So I'm going to copy this control C control V only I'm going to change the instruction type to an XIO truth off and use another counter. Verify and download. Okay, now we're in the run mode. Notice that there's no accumulate right now. Photo I1 is not blocked. Remember, photo I1 is at the entrance of the conveyor. Let's bring in a carton. Now you see photo I1 is blocked, and you notice that C5 colon 0 is accumulated to one count. Now, as that carton travels onto the conveyor and clears photo I1, look down at C5 1 and see what it does when it clears. Now, if you were going to count cartons onto the conveyor, would you count them when they arrived at photo I1, or would you count them when they left photo I1 and were pulled onto the conveyor? So I'm going to eliminate one of these counters, test, assemble, and I'm going to change this instruction to true if off. Accept edits, test, assemble, You'll probably notice here that it, the count is now 2. And this is a drawback of the count instructions. Because I was editing the rung and this was false when I went to true if off and finalized it, it went from false to true and it incremented once. You always have to be aware of that behavior. Now I'm going to change it back to 0 just by clicking on the accumulate, type in 0 and hit enter. Photo I1 is not blocked and we have no counts. So every time we come in, I'm going to turn off photo I2 because there's nothing blocking it. Photo I1 gets blocked, nothing happens. Look at the count up conveyor down there, C50. Look at C50 accumulate. When it clears photo I1, then it counts up one. That's how we want to use counters to count objects passing onto something downstream. Not arriving, but actually being on the conveyor. 
You will find many hands-on projects in this manual, and this manual ships with a disk of MicroStarter Lite, the software that will program the MicroLogix 1000 or the 1100. You will also find the projects in this manual that was written specifically for the MicroLogix 1400. This manual will work with all of the MicroLogix. You just have to adjust the I.O. that you're using. The software for this is MicroStarter, and it can be purchased from your local distributor. If you're using the Micro 800 processors, you'll find those project in this set of manuals. Connected Components Workbench can be downloaded free from Rockwell Automation. And that is how to use a counter in an application. We will return to this conveyor application in later presentations.